Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sadia. Welcome. Today I'm going to show you guys how I got this beautiful flip retro-esque hairstyle under $3. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm starting with clean stretched hair. In my hair, all I have is my Moe Moisture Curl Quench, this coconut oil serum, and my Ren 10 leave-in conditioner. I've got this jumbo braiding hair. It has this a similar texture to my hair. I got these rollers. You're gonna need rollers. Some got to be gel and or some curl activating gel. You're gonna need a scissors, a wide tooth comb, and a brush. I just have a double sided one here. You're also gonna need some hair pins of different sizes, some hair ties, as well as beeswax. So I'm just combing my hair up towards my crown here with the wide tooth comb. I found this as an opportunity to also measure my hair. My hair came out to be 10. Uh, inches stretched and that's not straightened that's just stretched so I'm gonna part the front portion of my hair in a smaller portion and tie that back with some hair tie I'm gonna take the beeswax warm it up in my hand and I'm going to run that along the nape of my neck which is the back of my hair closer to the root section of my hair and around the perimeters and sides of my head. I'm going to section off my hair. What I'm trying to do is get my hair to lay as flat as possible. So I'm also running the uh, beeswax towards the root of my hair in each section on both sides, all the way up to the top of my hair, or my head rather. just doing that all around and in my hair. Now I'm taking my wide tooth comb and I'm combing my hair up towards the crown. You see how that's flat? That's the look I'm going for. I'm trying to get my hair to be as flat as possible using this beeswax method that I picked up from the internet. Now I'm just going to put that hair aside and I'm going to do the same for the front portion of my hair, just in smaller, smaller sections because I want it to be slick and sleek and laying flat. So as you guys can see, I'm really going for the root of the hair. You really want to concentrate the product towards the root of your hair. And you wanna do this in small sections. And I'm just doing that in small sections all around this portion of leave out that I have. So you guys can see when I have too big of a section, I just cut it in half and try to concentrate the product close, as close to the root as possible. And of course, doing a little bit of detangling while I'm at it. So as you guys can see, I've got the product all throughout my hair and I've detangled my hair. So now I'm just gonna take my rough side of my brush and I'm going to brush the hair towards the crown of my head. I'm just adding some additional product towards the front, trying to get my edges laid flat where I did not have product. And I'm also just gonna brush that with the coarse side of the brush. Now I'm gathering all my hair and I'm going to finally put that into a pony. Or as we say back home, you're just gonna put your hair in one. And this is a high pony because, you know, you want that high pony, slick, pull your, your face back look. So I'm just trying to slick down the hair hair, just using the, I believe the coarse side of the brush. Now for the hair itself, I'm gonna cut the hair in half just as it come in the packet and I'm gonna cut that in half. I was just doing a little length check here to see how long the hair was going to be. 
Now I'm taking this hair tie and I'm gonna use this as a harness for the hair. I'm just pulling the one end through the loop of the other, tightening that up. And now I've got my little sling, hair slingy for my hair on a hair tie. Now I'm detangling my, my natural hair and I'm just going to apply or put the hair onto my ponytail. So I'm just trying to make as much loops as I can just to ensure that this is tight onto my hair and the ponytail is going to be sturdy onto my hair. So now that the pony is on, you guys can see, you can see the hair tie. So I'm just gonna, you know, fiddle around with this just to kind of hide the hair tie. So just like a bun, you kind of want to find the center of the hair and just pin it down to hide the hair tie. And I'm just using my hairpins to do that. You guys can see I'm looking at my hair like I'm competing with the lady in Mars Attack. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, tone down my puff a little bit because I did not want it that high. I want a little poof but not a huge one so I'm just going to take some hairpins and pin that down towards my head. So now I've got a smaller poof which I'm very much happier with and I'm just trying to get the hair to cover my natural hair by using hairpins to pin it down on each side. Now I'm taking about that inch wide of hair, I'm gonna detangle it a little bit, and I'm going to use that to swoop around the base of my ponytail to get that sleek finish look. As well as to hide any uh, hair tie that possibly want to come through and that little middle section that was just, you know, showing itself, I guess. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And I'm just going to do that once again, just to ensure that, you know, I'm getting that nice sleek ponytail look. And I mean, I wanted my ponytail to be just a little bit high. So I, fit, I fit, felt like this also helped the hair to kind of be up and then fall over. I feel like that's what I'm trying to say. Now I'm just shaping the hair here, trying to figure out the shape that I want. I'm taking my white tooth comb and I'm combing over the hair onto my poof. And I'm just gonna use some bobby pins to pin that down so that I can achieve the shape that I am trying to accomplish. And I did end up using bigger bobby pins than the small ones that you see here. I did end up using those uh, extra large bobby pins to just pin the hair down on each side and in the back as well. So now the hair is looking like this, which is what I initially wanted, but we're not done. We're gonna take these rollers. <laughs> they are about one and three quarters of an inch in diameter. And we're just gonna section off the bottom portion of the hair and put the top portion in a little hair tie situation and we're going to apply these rollers to this bottom portion of the hair. So I'm basically sectioning each section in about an inch and a half wide sections. I mean, that's the only way I can judge the width of it. And I'm putting on the rollers and then the clippers and then I'm kind of turning it so that the ends don't stick out. 
I hope that makes sense. I'm ro I'm turning the roller and the, the roller cover simultaneously so that the ends does not stick out because I want my flip ends to be flipped and not, you know, on flipped, I guess. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to say. So everything end up looking like this. So for safety, I'm just going to cover myself with this towel and this was the moment I should have just known that, you know what? This is hot water. If I didn't mention this is cutting hole on hair, so it will take the form of any shape that it's molded into when it's placed in hot water. And I'm just dipping the rollers into the hot water. And guys, I hope you guys have someone at home to help you with this because I did not. And this is where everything kind of went wrong for a little bit, but <sighs> growing up as a young lady, I know beauty hurts. So, you know, I just dealt with it and moved forward like nothing ever happened. So this is where everything went wrong. I hurt myself a little bit, but luckily I was protected by the towel. I'm okay guys. I survived it. No burns. Just, just, just a little bit shaken up. <laughs> um, yeah, it was hot, but I wasn't burned. So I'm just doing that all around the hair, dipping this into the water, dipping the hair into the water so that I can get my flips. And guys, I also went in and adjusted the rollers so that the hair could maintain the shape. I'm just gonna finish up my hair with some gel. Gel on my edges here. So by this time, more than 30 minutes had passed. And just kind of sweep it back. Sorry guys, I'm not like a baby hair type gal. I am just about the slick slay. Okay, so I'm just gonna take down these, whether they're dry or not. I'm gonna take down this and see if I have my like curls that I was going for. Stay here all day. Okay, so I'm gonna pin this little loose piece back because I don't like how that's just, you know, in the way like that. And guys, for the most part, it kind of. This little piece is just bothering me. This so I'll just stick it under there. Guys, are you guys seeing this flip bell? I don't know, I've been into like the flip situation. Like, are you guys seeing this flip? I mean, it's not great, but I think I pretty much accomplished most of what I wanted this hair to look like and I'm happy with it. I'm happy with this look. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with it. I hope you guys liked that video. I apologize for not being more consistent and I've just been going through a lot and I hope you guys can understand. If you guys try this look, 
try this hairstyle let me know um it was a little bit of a struggle bus but we got it it looks cute and i absolutely positively like it so don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell me how you like the hairstyle tell me if you would try it just leave your comments down below i would love to hear from you guys so i'm yeah 